Bengaluru's uh, air uh, quality started deteriorating because uh, the city has grown so much, not just in population but in terms of built-up area. In the last 20 years, more than 170% of built-up area has increased. That means lot more concrete, lot more people, lot more construction. All of these factors have contributed to the air quality going down in Bengaluru. What are the factors contributing to it? The air quality in Bengaluru is affected by the energy usage, residential as well as commercial, usage of appliances, usage of construction material. Transport is uh, causes about 20 to 25 percent of air quality comes from transport and that means pollution coming from vehicles. Uh, solid waste management also is another contributing factor for pollution in Bengaluru. There are many things that we can do. Everyone has to work towards this, not just a, a government, uh, but also corporates, but also citizens, citizen groups and all of that. Here are a few things that needs to be done. Number one, uh, as citizens and residential communities, we should go towards 100% segregation of waste. If you segregate waste, dry waste and wet waste, before you give it to the BBMP, it makes a huge difference in terms of air quality. So that's something we should do. Uh, use more public transport. In Bengaluru, only 50% of all travel happens in public transport. We need to increase to 70%. That means more of us should take public transport more often. So we highly uh, recommend and request all of you to use public transport at least two days a week. It's a campaign called Personal to Public. You might have heard about it. If you haven't, start using it. If you use metro and bus or bus at least two times a week, that will make a big difference. Using more energy efficient appliances in your homes, that will make a big difference. If you're building a house or if you're buying an apartment, buying from those that are using more uh, climate sensitive material, construction uh, that is more green construction, that will make a big difference. Those of you that are working on footpaths and walkability, make sure that the footpaths are permeable. The rainwater must soak into the, into the ground. That kind of footpaths we should go towards we hope that 90% of all Bengaluru footpaths, 15,000 kilometers of footpaths we have, if they are permeable, that will make a big difference.